Cheers, my friends, my new viewers, my first time maybe even watching this video. Cheers to y'all, and I hope you guys are going to get through this okay. <clears throat> People aren't clicking into my testimony. It's, it's quite sad. I watched a video just today here and it's through the Muslims connection of this story and his name is Ab the guy that I watch he's a Muslim convert out from that Islam so he's converted out of being Muslim and I think he says he's agnostic. His name is Abdul Abdullah Samir. Samir or Samir. But if you punch in the, um, you know, convert and stuff, it come up. Anyways, his video today on this day, which is uh, I think it's the 18th of September. Um, it's a beautiful day after a major night of raining. He, yeah, anyway, so he jokes a lot on this subject. You might be able to see my couple of comments, but, um, you know, different times I just try to make people realize, hey man, don't erase all comical things. And the subject part of zombie, I'm not including that word. I'm including that the guy that he talks about and shows video clips of talks a fear. His, his subject is about fear. It's really not about zombies. It's fear of beings. And the guy uses zombies as the best connection. And that's... Diff I see it different than Samir. I see it as bring in the video kids a little bit too. It is as scary as zombies, but it's a different story. And that story, I think, relates in a bit with my work with our work right here while you're sitting here watching me and stuff and I got a lot of connections like that where I can tell you guys unbelievable history one of the big things I say like I was talking to my son who's really getting into it my 18 year old and a half he's really start he's in that mature mindset now He's not a teenager anymore. He's in that young adult mindset now. He's thinking about his real things he wants to do. He feels the freedom already in his couple of months of being out of school. He's got two different jobs. He's got future plans coming up here for some travel experience and different things like this. So he's really listening to his dad really looking at some of these videos that I send them and I just tell them listen for two seconds and it's good enough you don't have to listen to the whole thing I know where he's coming from I know who he is and I know that's all it takes plus he has to listen to all my talking of explaining anyways so in saying this stuff here like I could probably get my son to watch that video of um, Abdullah Samir and it probably come up my son would kind of get where I'm going with, with what I'm explaining to you so you know I sure a video is black but how much do you want me to fool you and put a picture of me going like this on the thumbnail and then you coming on and it's still black YouTube's being pretty credible they're somehow seeing that these black videos that I'm putting out they're still putting commercials with it and that's not a common for them that it takes it's hard work to get them to commit like that but they're realizing he's got something in here like he's got some twinkles he's got communication of coyotes or something that sounds like a coyote or a dog or a wolf or bloodhound or whatever you want to think you can think it but I'm explaining what's going on back in here 
I'm helping guide you because I did get the track marks. I can teach you track marks. People study my track marks and don't even come onto my videos near as much anymore. And I miss them, but it's their, their connection. Now they're seeing what they're seeing and they're trying to figure out. They will not, I'll tell you straight up, they will not be able to become as deep as I am with the whole guidance of all the knowledge. In some ways, if you just j jump onto the rocks and try to figure out why the rocks, how I talk about the rocks and stuff, the, the wear and tear, like one of my subbers who makes fun all the time. For three years, he's been making fun and stuff. He's a real jokester, a very ignorant person. Anyways, he says not so ignorant of a comment the other day. He says, what did he say? Um, sorry, it's gone and come out of my mind. But basically, environmental breakdown, something like that. And I said, finally, dude, I've been talking about it for three years that these guys do what you just said. So he's trying to say, you're talking about the environment breakdown. And I'm going, yeah, I am. These beings do environmental breakdown along with farming. In our industrial world, they do a lot, a lot, a lot of things. They will go to some place. They will be at where guys are excavating gravel way out in the mountain somewhere. And those guys will come to their machine the next day. Just the odd time stuff like this will happen. And the guy will be scratching his head going, I swear I didn't park my machine on that angle. So in some cases, they come back and somehow that machine has gone off of the side of a cliff and stuff like that. And they automatically, obviously, see, feel that somebody's come there and done that. Some humans come there and done that. In most cases, that's where a mind has to lead to. Some of these guys might speculate other things because they hear noises and so on and so forth. But, so that's way out there. And that's big and powerful. Oh, we're at the end of the video almost here. So, in-city stuff is not big and powerful. It's small, tedious work. It's road marking lines, it's asphalt, it's concrete. Look for cracks, breaks. Look for just the weirdness of, of your fours and they got their different breaks and stuff. And I'm saying, peace out, please share, take this for real. I ain't doing this for fun. I've made like three grand, three years.